say that uh, seafarers should not be more than 60 days stranded on the sea. 60 days, they should at least touch the land. Many people are saying, oh, you're on the cruise ship, you have a cabin, you're getting food, you're all right. It's not about that. The fact is we are didn't touch land for a long time. This mentally affect us. Secondly, even we are here, we don't get paid. How many parents are missing their children? They need us to be back. We are not happy here. We just want to go home and at least touch land. It's very important to feel the land. On January 23, I left my home in Mauritius to join Sky Princess in Fort Lauderdale. The first couple of weeks was so much fun. It was a brand new ship and full of passengers. I was combining my work and my passion together because I like to work in sales and I like to travel. So it makes it fun. It doesn't feel like working. After two weeks, we began to see on the internet that there was a virus. Passengers on Diamond Princess in Japan were becoming sick. It was not so clear for us and felt far away from us. On board the Sky Princess, we didn't have any idea how big the thing was and how it will impact us in the future, how our lives will change. On March 12, the cruising industry came to a halt. We disembarked all the passengers from the Sky Princess in Fort Lauderdale on March 14. Then it was just the crew left on the ship. Princess was trying to fly most of the crew home, but many countries were closing their borders due to the growing pandemic. On March 20th, my country of Mauritius also locked down the country completely. It was beginning to get scary for me. How will I be able to get home? How long I will need to stay on the ship? The new plan was to transfer all the European crew to one ship, all the African, South African and Mauritians to another ship, Indonesian, Filipinos and Latin to another ship. My ship was the Island Princess and on April 25th, we left the Bahamas for a global repatriation journey with myself and 1,401 crew on board. So the plan was to get us near us our country or get us to the port directly. So we arrived on the 19th of May to Cape Town and then we passed near my country on the 25th of May. Near my homeland, uh, around about 100 kilometers from here, satellite. Well, it felt heavy in the heart. It never felt like so mentally down in my life. I don't know when I will be home. And for now, they don't have any plans for us. You see that all other countries are going home. You are still on the ship here. After passing Mauritius, we continued on to Sri Lanka, then we set sail to Jakarta and then on to Manila. So far here there is maybe around 21 ships uh, dock uh, in Manila Bay. And each of them there should be other nationalities which is stranded and waiting to go home. They are allowed to go home but they are just waiting for their flights. For us it's like Seeing everyone going, you're still stuck here. You don't know where you're going to go. We are more than three months and it's going to be four months now. Today is going to be around 113 days without touching land. My routine is waking up, gym, uh, eat, and then back to the cabin. Not, not so much to do. It's a bit like a ghost ship now because there's not too much people. If you go outside now, it's uh, no one is outside. <laughs> Except for lunchtime, you, dinner time, you will see some crew and then the rest in the cabin.
It's like we are living in a bubble. After nearly a month stuck on board in Manila Bay, we got word that we were transferring ship again. It was finally our turn to ride a tenderboat to the port of Manila. I'm the last one I'm setting foot on land. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Woo! It was amazing to step on land. I could feel the energy. So relief. Amazing, amazing feeling. It's to be like a bit of freedom. A short, a short freedom. <laughs> Back to the ship again. We were flown from Manila to Bangkok and then Bangkok to Amsterdam to board my third ship and to begin my third quarantine. So all the 49 Mauritians who just flew are in quarantine and isolation for 14 days. I feel like in prison, you can't do anything. You're just here watching movie, internet, and that's it. Oh, brother. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. What's your name? JJ. Thank you, JJ. We got a sad news in the morning. We got a letter about our repatriation. So I will read as follows. I'm afraid I have a bad news to share with you. The planned July 27 government charter flight to Mauritius for Carnival Corporation team members has been delayed by the Mauritius government until August 29. After all these days being stranded on the ship still in March, I have to wait one more month so I'll get repatriated. Suppose date is on the 29th of August and on arriving there, I'll be quarantined, so it will be around mid-September, I'll be able to go home. After seven more weeks on board, we got word that we're finally going home. After all these months doing nothing, not working, I would finally taste freedom. Since 12 March till now, 29 of August, very long journey, stranded on the ship. At least I'll be able to be at home finally. It was a long journey. It's gonna be different when I go home as the world change. It's like I'm going to a new world now, I think. Um, I don't know what's gonna wait for me there. Bye bye. It was nice to meet you guys. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Until someday, hopefully. Safe journey. Last week, I was saying, okay, this is my last week on the ship. I'm never gonna come back again to the ship. Maybe I'll come back as a passenger, but not as a crew. That's it. I had good time. It makes me sad as well. What crew had experienced before the COVID will not be the same after COVID. Even though they got vaccine, it will not, not, not be the same. There will be always change. The changes are already here. Welcome to our Paradise Island, Mauritius, ladies and gentlemen. We have touched down on Celsius at our Gulam International Airport. Finally, I made it after 170 days. Stranded at sea. Long journey. Now, two weeks more isolation on the hotel, and then we are done. Wow. I'm beginning to acclimate on this here because on the ship, I, you hear the noise of the engine and everything. Here, you hear the noise of the birds, so it's quite nice.
Wow. <laughs> Feels so good. So, so, so good. After all these days, March, now I'm free. I can walk. Free, free, free. Life teaches you a lesson. Simple thing in life has a lot of meaning. Freedom. We don't take time to enjoy it. We don't take time to appreciate it. What? <sighs> My brother. Hi. Finally. Thank you. Now I can say this has changed me. I appreciate everything in life. Copy them. <laughs>